dear friend. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4 from the King James Version Bible. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. A couple of questions that I would like to share with you today. Why is it it is important to come out? Where to come out? And how do we come out? It is important to know and understand this message in the book of Revelation because the devil had indeed invented ideas and philosophies to keep captive God's people to continually commit sin. And you might be asking, what is sin? Sin is transgression of the law, the violation of the ten expressed law of God, the Ten Commandments. And the first commandment, majority of the Christians professing the name of our Savior violates the first commandment. Thou shalt have no other gods by receiving knowingly or unknowingly the erroneous teaching of Trinity. This is what God is calling us to come out from. The teaching of error violating the first commandment and therefore violating the whole of the commandment. You may worship the right Seventh day Saturday Sabbath, but if you do not worship the one true God and His Son, you are violating the first commandment because this is revealed in the Word of God. So, where do we come out from? The teaching of the Trinity, the teaching of error. Come out of her, my people. Come out of confusion. Come out of this created doctrine. Come out. Now the question is, how do we come out? We come out by calling sin, sin. As majority of the people blindly follow the church creeds, especially among those who profess to be the remnant, yet they are worshiping three-in-one gods, which is not in the scriptures. We must call sin, sin. Trinity is an error. It is a sin to worship multiple gods. Renounce Trinity. Renounce that error wherever you are. That is how you come out. Call sin, sin by renouncing. The second step is to cast out sin, meaning to say reject sin in the name of Christ. Reject the violation of the first commandment, meaning let us keep the first commandment purely and in holiness. The third step is to claim the name of Christ, receiving the truth. Claiming the name of Christ is receiving the pure revelation of the scripture. And the last step, the fourth, is coming to Christ. When you come out of her, Babylon, you come into Christ, meaning we return to the old path, to the pure faith, the right way, worshiping the only true God and His Son, Jesus Christ, not making idols, not bowing down to idols, remembering the seventh day, Saturday Sabbath, as the day of rest and fellowship and worship, loving our fellow man as we love others by warning them, by teaching them the truth. And if they will reject the message, we are not responsible for their rejection. 
call sin, sin. Renounce sin. Cast out sin. Reject sin. Claim the name of Christ. Receive the truth. Come into Christ. Return to the worship of the one true God revealed by His Son, Jesus Christ. Come out of her, my people. Wherever you are, come out of false system. Let me call you out from the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Doctrine of Trinity. The original Seventh-day Adventist Church believes in the one true God and His Son. You are returning to the roots, returning to the original faith of our true faithful fathers who upholded the apostles, the pure teaching of Christ through His disciples and apostles. Trinity is an error. There is no salvation in worshiping three gods that make one God. There is no salvation in philosophical ideas. What can save us is in John 17, 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Knowing God and Jesus Christ will lead us to repentance, will lead us to the truth, and will change our lives. The Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. Come out of the Trinity error, my friends. Come out of churches whose creeds follow Babylon, Rome. The, the pathway to life eternal is knowing who God is and His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us worship the two beings revealed in the scripture, the Father, the only true God, and His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.